What's up everybody and welcome to another vlog here at Destin Montefiore's channel. Just in case you've been if you just in case if you didn't know, I do daily vlogs. So subscribe, tell your friends, tell your dog, tell your cat, tell your fishes. Not before all, man. Um welcome to another vlog and right now I am currently driving to Panera. I am meeting up with my boy Trevor to talk about some ideas about another video that I hope you guys will like. Uh, remember the Yeezy one, the killer prank one? Well, Trevor is the one who directed that and edited it and did all the work. I just, you know, said some couple lines, but, and I, no, he, he has all the credit for all that. So, right now we're gonna go do another video with Trevor and I will put his link down in the description down below. And uh, so right now we are driving to Panera and let's fucking, oh, Yo, what's good everybody? This is Trevor. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Life of a Filmmaker. Me and Dustin got a lot of stuff coming. Yeah, man, I'll put, it, I'll put his uh, YouTube... Oh, damn, why am I zoomed in? Oh, no, I'm not. Anyways, I'll put his um, link in the description down below. He's the one who helped me film the easy one. The easy uh, uh, killer prank. So, subscribe to this guy, man. This guy has some good-ass content. He's working on it right now. He put up like, uh, what'd you put up? Oh, my channel intro. Yeah, he's put up his channel intro, so I'll put it. I'll put the link down there, and then, um, yeah, man, support the cat. Let's see what he can do to this YouTube world. So we just got done eating Panera, and like, uh, Trevor's trying to get like into this diet, 90 day diet thing or whatever, like, uh, PX94, PX90, or whatever that shit's called. But, um, you know, a lot, a lot of shit's going through my mind, like. Since I've been doing those live videos on Instagram and shit like that, people have been asking me, and I think it's time that, like, you know, I finally say something about it. But the question that everyone's been asking and waiting for is why don't I hang out with Kais when I don't hang out with 
the uh, Harris, why do I don't hang out with Sarab? Like, see, the thing is with Kais, like, that dude, like, he moved to LA. So, I mean, basically, he's not in Fremont or in the Bay Area anymore. And whenever he comes to visit, like, he doesn't hit me up or I don't hit him up or anything like that. He, yes, he did date my sister. Uh, that's the reason how me and Kais met. He did date my sister. Um,. Just because everyone says if I stole Kais' ex-girlfriend or anything like that. No, that's my sister. So, yeah, me and Kais, we're cool. I mean, there's no beef between us, but it's just, you know, we just don't talk anymore. He's living his life out in L.A., and, you know, I'm doing me out here in the Bay Area. So, I mean, that's cool. Harris and I, you know, we text every now and then, and, you know, we hang out, shit like that. We go to lunch, we go to dinner, but he's married, guys. He's married. Like, you guys got to understand, he is married. You know, he's living his own life. He's a grown man doing his thing with, with his wife. So, it's cool to see him every now and then. You know, I know he's busy with work and, you know, living alone with his wife and shit. It's just a whole different chapter in his, in his, in his life. So, I mean, I would totally respect him and shit like that. Now, the other guys, Rob, man, I don't, I don't respect that kid at all. Like, that dude did me hella dirty. So, what happened was that... He hit me up one day, and this is the only thing that he does. He only hits you up when he needs something. That only benefits him, not you. It doesn't benefit you or you guys put together. It only benefits him. So, down here in the bay, he hit me up. Hey, bro, I need a pair of Yeezy gum bottoms. All right, cool. What size do you need? Because I work at Riff. What size do you need? I, you know, I'll hook you up, blah, 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 blah. It was his birthday weekend or birthday month coming up or some shit like that. He hits me up. He needs the Yeezys. All right, for sure. Cool. I got them for you. Give me so and so much. You know, I won't, I won't, I won't do this. Um, so he comes through the shop, gives me the money. You know, he walks out happy, blah, blah, blah. Hits me up and says, hey, bro, I'm having a birthday bonfire at a beach in San Francisco. I was like, perfect. You know, I worked in San Francisco. I'm off at seven. I'll just head on to the beach perfect idea you know it was gonna be me everyone else all the boys you know chilling um so he hits me up it's this day this time be there you know can't wait to see you shit and then i hit up the week the weekend came and i hit up harris i was like hey harris like swag hasn't texted me like isn't today his uh his birthday beach thing he was like oh that's a little weird he didn't hit you up like let me text him for for you and I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? Nah, don't hit, don't hit him up. Like, you know, I don't want to seem like, like fucking. I don't want to like include myself. I, I'm not that type of person that just hits you up, be like, hey, I'm coming to this thing whether you like it or not. Like, I'm not that type of dude. So he doesn't text me at all. Uh, I told Harris not to text him because you know I don't want him to make shit awkward. If he doesn't want me there, he doesn't want me there. What he can text me myself and say, hey, you know. It, it's gonna be awkward if you're there and Kais is there and everyone else is there, which I don't think it would have been awkward, but I mean, whatever, so whatever. So he doesn't hit me up and I hit him up at the end of the night, like around nine o'clock and I hit him up and I was like, hey bro, party was hella dope. Thanks for the invite. 30 minutes later, I get a text back that says, sorry bro, the reason why I didn't text you is because it's a long story. What? What like nigga? All you have to do is just say, "Hey, bro, like, can you not come?" Or like, "Hey, bro, party's canceled." Or "Hey, bro, like, be a man, bro. Like, be straight up with me." That's why I don't fuck with you no more, my nigga. And um, so like that. That's why I don't mess with that guy at all. Harris, I still love Harris to death, bro. I'm, I'm. That, that's my dude for life. Kais, bro. I'm. I mean. He's moved on to LA. He has. He moves on to bigger and better things. So, nothing but respect for that dude. Keep killing it out there, man. Hopefully, one day we see each other and you know everything can go back to normal. But hey, I just 